This is the only way I can talk about this movie. Today on Reader's Reviews, I review Venom, also known as Edgelord Catwoman. And I say that mostly because a lot of how the events played out over the course of this movie happen kind of like how Patience Price or Prince or whatever the fuck her name is that's not Selena Kyle pretty much got into the predicament that got her into being Catwoman to begin with. Only just replace Eddie Brock with the symbiote. He's a reporter, he gets down to nitty gritty, he has his own YouTube show? No, it's not a YouTube show, it's a, it's an actual TV show, like something like CNN will run, where he's a very hardcore, not hardcore, that's the wrong word, a really hard edge investigative journalist, and he gets down to the nitty gritty as far as like interviewing people and asking the tough, the tough questions. But as far as his personality was concerned before he bonded with Venom, he was... Pretty much a neurotic mess. I'm still trying to understand the choices that Tom Hardy made and how he like decided to go with Eddie Brock in this because I'm just kind of fucking founded. The origins of the symbiotes that are in this movie or specifically the, the breed of alien that are the symbiotes in this movie is a mixture of 616 and Ultimate. It's 616 because they are a breed of alien. They went out of their fucking way to go on and explain that. And it's Ultimate because the company that the Elon Musk type motherfucker owns in San Francisco that can clearly afford his own like space expedition, his own rocket in the backyard of San Francisco without any like gun government like notification or funding. Like why do they not know about this is pretty much responsible for trying to cure cancer or at least that is like the quote unquote red tape. That's like what they say that they're doing as far as the reason why. God, I love this one. It's making me feel better already. I will give the movie credit though. They were able to pull off a semi-workable origin story for Venom without having to include Spider-Man. They killed off J. Jonah Jameson's son in the very beginning of the movie though. So there's that. Oh, I'm sorry. This is completely full. This is completely filled with spoilers. Fuck this movie. And speaking of the Elon Musk of this movie, I'm talking, can we talk, can we talk about the villain? Not Venom, be no, I'm talking about the villain. The Elon Musk wannabe motherfucker who ends up becoming the host for Riot is pretty much every single person who wrote edgelord stories in middle school that wanted a compelling villain. And the worst part about it is that old dude playing the motherfucker didn't even look like he was having fun while filming the entire thing. In actuality, he just had very cheesy dialogue and just liked to like quote Bible scriptures about how he was God and how he's correcting God's mistake because that's what edgelord villains do. Especially when they want to seem all high and mighty and sit on top of the throne like they can't be touched. It's not like how they did it in Blade Runner 2049 where it's like his attitude matched the dialogue so that it was actually compelling or that it was actually like like mysterious and threatening. No, he just, he was just, he just decided to wear eyeliner to school one day and just flip his hair once. And now he's the, and now he's the most like, most, most threatening kid in the school. That's how that kid, that's how that character was. And then they tried to build up Riot over the course of the movie from the very beginning. And it kind of worked in the beginning, but then the more you saw it and the more you saw about his journey and trying to get to San Francisco, up until you finally see him, it was just like, this build up was for nothing. You ain't that different from Venom, my dude. <sighs> Speaking of which, oh, well, I can't talk about this character while this is like this. Just, 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 just one moment. better. So you know how I was able to put my bias aside about Thanos and the Infinity Stones so that I could give an unbiased review of Avengers Infinity War? I'm sorry, I can't do that with this movie. I, fu I, I hate it every moment of this. <laughs> I fucking hate it. I hate this movie. The special effects with Venom were nice. 
up until the fight with Riot, in which I just, I was just, I just, I, I was just a nauseated mess. It's like every time they clashed, every time like they, their, their symbiotic essences left their host just a little bit of it. I was just like, I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. I hate this so much. The side characters had no soul to them, especially the Gwen Stacy wannabe in this movie. You know, now that I think about it, it's not just Edgelord Catwoman. It's Edgelord Catwoman who did the fusion dance with the very first Dark Man. And I fucking love the very first Dark Man. Holy shit. And then, and then they just have the nerve to do a mid credit scene and introduces Woody Harrelson as Carnage. Like, y'all balls that big to think. <laughs> oh, man. Let's not forget the fact that the next Edgelord Marvel movie that Sony is going to do is Morbius the Living Vampire, which I am not looking forward to at all. But if Venom 2 is going to be anything like Venom 1, then I should just basically expect more try-hard Edgelord dialogue, more fight scenes in the form of symbiotic soup slinging, and pretty much a villain that's just going to be like the Joker just like covered in ketchup. No, readers, I did not like this movie. <laughs> I'm so glad that MoviePass gave me a baby comeback discount for $6.95 a month so I didn't have to pay out of pocket to see this shit. <laughs> I swear to not buy this wine just for this video. This has been in my, this has been in my kitchen. And I've just been looking for a reason to start drinking it. But if you like villains, I mean Venom, then you'll probably enjoy this because it has everything that people were bitching about that Spider-Man 3 didn't have, even though that's quote-unquote, as far as I'm concerned, the best iteration of Venom that we have seen so far. Maybe not as far as like his size or like his intimidation factor or, or anything like that, but it was fine. It was, it was, it was fine. Not this movie though, fuck this movie. Anyway, readers, your homework assignment for the day. Write in the comment section what you thought of Venom 3. Shit. Write in the comment section below what you thought of Venom. If you've seen it, I do not want, I take that shit back. I'm pulling that shit back from the ether and putting it back into my soul. I do not want to see two more sequels of this shit. Oh, before I sign off, Avi Arad still works for Sony and is still in charge of the, the Spider-Man properties. He's actually co-producing with Amy Pascal. So that explains everything. Also, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications because I post new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and every other Friday. I'm pretty sure I'm buzzed, so you should subscribe just for the fact that I was able to remember everything while I was drinking this fucking wine. This is, this is, that's a feat, that is a feat. As a feat that I took at fourth level, bitch. Anyway, this is Rias 101. Class dismissed.